Have you ever tried to write an article with AI only to think, what the f*** is this shit? It sounds weird, the info's fake, and editing it feels like a nightmare. The thing is, there's a stupidly simple process you can use that fixes all this and more. I've used it to write hundreds of articles that are not only unique and high value, but they rank in Google and convert readers into customers. In this video, I'm going to show you what this process is, how it gets past the common AI content issues, how it helps you to write to a professional level, and why you need to use this ASAP to explode your content creation this year. Better still, I'll walk you through how I write an article so you can see how this works live. Proof! I've got proof! So let's kick this off and understand the major issue that's affecting your AI content quality. The core problem is you simply can't get good content from AI on its own. Not yet, anyway. There needs to be human interaction. However, most people are doing this wrong. They're interacting after the tool is finished, which usually means they're trying to edit something awful so it at least sounds like a human wrote it. Experts call this humanizing, but in England, we call it polishing a turd. Turd! Caca! Because the content's so bad that editing it takes longer than just writing the thing in the first place. So what can you do? It's simple. Don't try to offload all the writing to the AI because the tool isn't quite there yet. Instead, you want to be working alongside the AI from start to finish so that you can direct it and what it should be writing about as you go. It sounds like more effort, but it's actually far easier simply because you bypass all these common AI content issues. Don't believe me? Let me show you. The good news is we don't need a super fancy AI tool to do this that's $500 a month. All we need is ChatGPT. However, we do need to upgrade from the basic version to GPT 4.0, which is just $20 a month. There's three reasons why we need this upgraded version. Reason one is that this version connects to the internet. This means that it can scan for up-to-date information, whereas the free version was only trained on content up until September 2021. This can help remove inaccuracies, and it also helps with our writing and research. Reason two. GPT 4.0 also allows us to add a core system prompt and customize how it works with us. So basically we can let it know our writing goals, our writing standards, the audience we talk to. This helps us to manage tone of voice and a lot more. Reason three, GPT 4.0 has almost double the memory of the free version, which means it can hold onto more complex ideas and works well with long form content. Why does that matter? Well, it's all to do with burgers. Mmm, burger. So have you ever thought to yourself, why is it that you can get a Big Mac anywhere in the world and it's almost exactly the same quality each time? Is it because it's the same burger flipper flying around from store to store? Of course not. It's because of systems. You see, McDonald's has systems for everything about the Big Mac, from the cooking, the prep, to the amount of ingredients, and even what order to add them to the burger. Professional writers are kind of the same. To make writing easier, we have systems for how to structure an article, how to research it, how to edit it, draft it, and more. It means we don't get stuck on the blank page, but more importantly, it means we can always get the same level of quality from every article we write. Why does this matter? Well, the cool thing about GPT-4 is that the larger memory, we can actually write a series of prompts to make it so that the AI follows the same writing process that we used to do manually. So as you can see here, I've taken my process and I've pasted it in as a core writing prompt. And now the tool is asking me for five things. Who is the author? This is so it can position the content from a specific level of expertise. Who is the audience? This is so it can understand the level of people that you're writing for. This can affect the tone, the depth of content, the context it needs to provide, etc. The article topics, so it knows what you're writing about. Any reference materials that you want it to look at for inspiration instead of only what ranks or what it was trained on. And finally, your own outline and content ideas. This allows you to make sure the article goes in the direction you want it to. What's really cool though is that because of how the prompt is set up, it will analyze your initial outline and make recommendations. You can then take them on if you want, ask it why it thinks its recommendations should be included and more. This way your outline doesn't miss anything important or better still, it doesn't blow it out and try to include everything on a topic which is another common AI content issue. Once you've confirmed all this information, you simply hit enter and it'll start to write. However, rather than write the whole post in one go, it'll just write one section at a time and ask you for feedback. This is good. This means we can make changes and lock this in before we write the next one. This direct interaction is where you'll see a lot of the time saved and quality improvements versus writing on your own or having to edit at the end. So what kind of edits should you make? Well, it can be anything you want. However, I'll usually get it to provide more context to something, to change its tone perhaps, or to add or remove things. It all depends on the initial output from the tool. Basically, I read the section and I ask it to make the changes that I would at that point if I think that it needs it. Usually these are along the lines of, what does the reader need to know? Do they understand what they're reading? Why is this information important? How will it affect the reader personally? Why is it important to them? Then it's as simple as confirming that I'm happy with these new changes and I'll write the next section. 
Then I just rinse and repeat, refining as I go until I have a first draft done in literally minutes. Now, no joke, but you could post this and it would be better than the content you're currently getting from AI. But let's not be lazy, especially when we can use the tool to do even more for us. Great content basically comes down to the editing process. So what I'll do is I'll do three sweeps of edits, two of which I can do inside the tool and it'll do it for me, one I do manually. So first off, I run the current version of a draft through a new prompt that's focused entirely around specific copywriting edits, things that can help resonate with the reader and feel like you're talking to them directly. It might not seem like much, but these can be the difference in a new reader or a new customer. Once that's done, I'll then run a sweep of on-page SEO edits, basically making sure that Google understands what my article is about so that it can rank. The cool thing is the tool will not only do the on-page SEO, but it can also help with meta descriptions, meta titles, and even rich snippets. Basically all the things that affect traffic and clicks. Finally, once it's run through all of these, I'll take the content out of the tool and then add imagery and internal links to other content. This way I can help raise the perceived value of the article and also improve its readability by breaking up large sections of text. And that's it, super simple, right? However, by changing from editing after the fact and instead running a process like this, I don't have to pay for expensive AI writing tools. I don't have content issues such as quality, depth, or even fake information. My content covers the right things that the audience needs and in the right order. It sounds like me. It's the exact content I want to cover and it's insanely fast. For example, I didn't time myself writing this article because I was bouncing back and forth between writing and recording the video. However, if we check out this other post on my blog, it's about 5,000 words. It's got around 30 images and multiple step-by-step -step tutorial sections, meaning it required a little more work than usual. In the past, this type of article would take me anywhere from five to eight hours to write manually. But with this process, I was finished in under 90 minutes. Don't sleep on this, you have to try it out for yourself. I did the math and I'm saving around 210 hours a year on my current content output with this process. That's around five and a half weeks of work just cut out of my year that I can now use for other things. It really is that effective and you'll be amazed at the quality of your content and how much easier it is to write when you use this. I've given you enough information here for you to build something similar for your own writing. However, if you want to sidestep that hassle and get all my prompts, each of my editing tips and more, then check out the link in the description below.